The Life of Saiken, The Six Tales, from Naruto. Saiken, more commonly known as the Six Tales, is one of the Nine-Tailed Beasts. It was last sealed with an Udakata of Kirigakure. Welcome to the Amagi! In today's video, we're going over the life of Saiken. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Amagi's reach stretches beyond just this channel, so if you're a fan of us, please consider subscribing to our other channels and following us on all of our social media. Help us reach our goal of passing 100,000 followers on all of our accounts by the end of the year. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Background Saiken and the Tailed Beasts first came into being in the waning days of Hagoromo Otsutsuki, who used his creation of all things technique to divide the Ten Tails Chakra into nine separate bodies and giving each a name. Some time after being created, the sage explained to the young-tailed beasts that a link existed between them despite their separation. He also foretold of a day that they would be brought together again, though not as they were, and that at that time someone would emerge to show them what true power is. In the anime, before his death, Hagoromo sent Saiken to live in a temple built for the purpose of protecting it in a humid, cavernous region. During the First Shinobi World War, Hashirama Senju captured eight of the Tailed Beasts and sold Saiken and Isobu to Kirigakure at the Five Kage Summit as a sign of friendship and to ensure a balance of power amongst their new villages. The Tailed Beast would end up being sealed within Urakata decades later. In the anime, Harusame tried and failed to remove Saiken from within his student, intending to save his Urakata from being a living weapon for their village. Urakata, however, having not heard what his master had said to him, later came under the assumption after the incident that his master had tried to kill him. This failed removal resulted in Urakata transforming into Saiken and killing Harusame. Six Tails Unleashed In the anime, in an attempt to stop the fury technique from causing untold destruction, Urakata went into his full Six Tails form to shield the beast. Later, Urakata was confronted and captured by Nagato's Six Paths of Pain. Afterwards, Saiken was extracted from Urakata's body, being sealed into the demonic statue of the Outer Path, thus killing the Jinchuriki in the process. Fourth Shinobi World War Climax After Urakata's full transformation into the Six Tails, he attacks Kakashi and Gai, emitting a corrosive alkali from its mouth, which Kakashi warned Gai not to touch. After Gai dissipated the gas with his morning peacock technique, the Six Tails prepared to attack him again. After Son Goku was resealed into the demonic statue of the Outer Path, Tobi, who was intent on going all out from that point on, forced Urakata to fully transform into the Six Tails. The opposing tailed beasts prepared to attack the shinobi but were rebuffed by a fully transformed Naruto. Wasting no time in their attacks, the Six Tails incapacitated Naruto and Kurama by swallowing the arm, but the slug was slammed into the two tails, sending them both flying away. The opposing beasts regrouped and then prepared a collaborative tailed beast ball which was met by one from Naruto and Kurama. As Naruto entered a deeper plane of the tailed beast's consciousness, Saiken introduced itself to the young shinobi. Later, as Saiken was freed from the chakra receiver, it affirmed Kurama's belief that Naruto was the person the Sage of Six Paths had spoken about so long ago before being resealed back into the demonic statue. Birth of the Ten Tails Jinchuriki Saiken appeared alongside with the other tailed beasts with the exception of Gyuki and Shukaku when the Ten Tails looked down at Naruto. The image of the tailed beasts, along with a silhouette of the Sage of the Six Paths, drove the Ten Tails into a fit as it evolved further. Later on, the allied shinobi forces managed to pull the tailed beasts out of Obito, thereby freeing them, including Saiken. When Madara ran towards the tailed beasts, both Shukaku and Gara conjured numerous sand bullets and were able to restrain the Uchiha's movements. Using the opportunity to attack, the tailed beasts each took a swing at their opponent, giving the sand manipulating duo an opening to use their desert layered imperial funeral seal. But Madara managed to escape the sand pyramid with his Susanoo. As Naruto in tailed beast mode pinned Madara down with a tail, Saiken and the other tailed beasts joined in and did the same to increase the damage, but the Uchiha survived their attacks and retreated to a safe distance. After he received his own right Rinnegan eye from a white Zetsu clone, Madara quickly summoned the demonic statue of the Outer Path from Obito's body and used the Rinnegan to repel the tailed beasts. With the tailed beasts stunned, Madara then chained them up and sealed them back into the demonic statue. 
Later, the chakra Saiken transferred to Naruto earlier manifested within Naruto's subconscious along with the other tailed beasts to speak with the young Jinchuriki and the spirit of Hagodomo Otsutsuki. There, they all voiced their shared belief to the sage that Naruto was the child of prophecy. Kaguya Otsutsuki Strikes After Madara's ambitions were cut short by Black Zetsu, who was revealed to be the silent manipulator of shinobi history since it was first created by Kaguya Otsutsuki, the Black Entity used Madara's body as a medium to resurrect its creator. During the battle against the tyrannical princess, Saiken and the other tailed beasts contributed to support Naruto by giving him their combined power to overwhelm her. Ultimately, Kaguya was defeated by Naruto and Sasuke, who used the six paths Chibaku Tensei to eject all the tailed beasts from her and seal her away inside a newly created moon within her own dimension. After the spirits of Haganomo and the past Kage summoned both the tailed beasts and Team 7 back to the real world, the tailed beasts began to discuss their plans for the future since they were finally free. Sasuke, however, made his own intentions known, removing as many people as possible who could get in the way of his plans of leading the world through a revolution to do away with current shinobi systems, including killing all the current Kage and tailed beasts. Just as Sasuke swiftly subdued the tailed beasts with his Rinnegan and sealed them within his Chibaku Tensei, Naruto reassured the tailed beasts that he would save them once again. After Naruto was able to defeat and reform Sasuke, the two dispelled the infinite Tsukiyomi, and Sasuke released Saiken, along with the other tailed beasts, from their prisons. One Tail Escort Arc When Urashiki Yotsotsuki began targeting Shukaku for its chakra, it was deduced he was interested in all the tailed beasts' chakra. Naruto organized a telepathic meeting with the other tailed beasts except for Matatabi, Kokuo, and Chomei, who each refused to accept aid from humans in fear of being captured and used again by them, despite their trust in Naruto. Kawaki Arc In the anime, Saiken was gathered with the other tailed beasts as they sensed Kurama's chakra vanishing after it sacrificed its life in the battle against Ishiki Otsutsuki. Personality Though not much has been seen of Saiken's personality, the giant slug uses ore when referring to itself, ore being a boastful way of saying I. It also speaks with a dialect which may possibly be Osakaben in origin. In the anime, Saiken also seemed to be kinder and not as self-serving and malicious as most other tailed beasts, as when Urakata asked for its help to save Hotaru, it seemed willing to comply, and later simply receded back into Urakata without trying to take him over. However, it was not above killing for self-preservation, as seen when it killed Harusame when he attempted to extract it from its Jinchuriki. In the anime, it speaks with a high-pitched voice and appears to be very energetic. Abilities as a tailed beast, Saiken has a massive amount of chakra that it can freely share with others, and can create a tailed beast ball. Saiken has shown the ability to emit corrosive substances that can instantly disintegrate its target upon contact, in the form of liquid or gas. Saiken is seen having a great deal of tremendous durability, able to withstand being thrown a great distance by Kurama. Saiken possesses an affinity for water release. It can expel a sticky, adhesive substance from its mouth, which is capable of trapping its targets. In the anime, it can use soap bubble ninjutsu. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.